the fuel tanks come back I went to get this this morning from the Welsh wizard there he is and he's welded on some mounting tabs for me because earlier on I didn't know where they needed to be uh, why isn't my welding that nice eh here we are again look I've welded some tabs on here, 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 there's another one there um, with thick rubber washers. Now, as I was doing it, one of the washers rolled away and I'll never find it ever again. So the moral is, if you need four by five, so I haven't got a washer there, but I will. So anyway, there's my washers. So let's test fit the tank. The reason for the rubber washers is um, they're actually for motorcycle fuel tanks and the reason they, they're there is if there's any f slight flex of the chassis it doesn't get transmitted to the tank. Just before I uh, say it fits I need to put the body shell on one last time to check it still fits with the washers. So I drilled two holes, tapped two threads like you've seen me do many times before and um, yeah, there it goes. So you're probably wondering why I did it like that, well I'll show you. Um, this hose from the tank just loops around like that. And goes on there, if you can see that. And then a smaller hose, this is smaller, comes from here up to here. It's not touching anything, it's not rubbing anything. And um, if you just lift the filter like that, you can see if it's filling properly. It's, it's always harder when it's on its side. I don't particularly like these filters. Um, they're known in engine bays for causing fires, so I've got it mounted low and I've got it mounted so if it can kind of drip down um, without hitting anything that important. Although you may say, yes, well, the exhaust is coming out here. Well, it, it is, but it's kind of more in, in board. But yeah, I hear what you say. Um, I think that's the best arrangement for this anyway. Um, if it all runs fine, I might replace it with a metal one just seems a bit safer I don't know if it is or not but it just feels that way and you may ask why why didn't I just weld this on I know it's aluminium but I could have made it out of steel um, the reason is it would hit the engine would hit it if you're trying to hoist the engine out um, it's just going to be in the way so whenever I add something I'm always thinking in terms of can I hoist the engine out easily or not is this going to interfere There, so I mocked it up though, I haven't put the clamps on yet. You can see the general idea. 
So this is free in space, it's not rubbing. Same with the hose under there. So these filters, you can cut the connections so you can have a sort of fatter hose or a narrower hose. So I've got the larger hose on the bottom and the narrower hose on the top to the narrower fitting. So it uh, needs a little bit of a last minute tidying up, but that's the general idea. Initially, I'm going to run it. When I do my test engine run, I'm going to run it from my boat tank, which I had before, because I don't want to fill this up yet with petrol in case I do any more welding. I want to be able to just disconnect the boat tank, take it you know, completely away. This has never had petrol in it yet, or gasoline if you're in the US. And um, I'm going to keep it that way until the last minute. It just seems safer. So you see this target here, basically this circle is where the filler cap is from the fill tank. And the way I located it is I put the this panel, top panel on, and then I lay under the car with a marker pen on a long stick. And I just managed to reach up to in one side where the filler was and make a mark and work it out from there. So I've got to cut a hole there. Now with a hole cutter, you need a, something at the back piece of wood for the drill bit in the centre to kind of latch into. So there was a hole here and there was a hole here from when I was making these, which needs welding up. So what I've done is I put a tiny uh, screw, long thin screw through each one and tapped a piece of wood basically to the back. Uh, and hopefully that'll last just long enough to get the whole cutter to start to establish. So it'll be a bit sporting, but I'm going to have a go at cutting a hole there. I hope it's in the right place. <laughs> 